Hey guys, what's up? This is just gonna be a quick update video, and I think this might be just about a month or two. I think a month after planting, but I'm gonna make sure um, if it really is a month after. But just wanted to show you guys one. It just looks so dark on my camera, whatever. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys the dwarf baby tears. Like right here, it's really getting carpeted a lot. And the plants back there are, for some reason they're just growing up straight. They aren't really shooting up too many runners, but I, I do see that they are starting, but they aren't really, they haven't been doing that very for very long. Well, these, this was like almost instant carpeting, it seems like. So then, there's a nice little runner over there. So, I have one question about baby tears. I see this plant coming up out of the sand. Do they send underground runners, or do they go across the surface? Just like, well, what it's doing now. Like, um, yeah, that's just kind of what I want to know. I know that they definitely go across the surface. Maybe I accidentally buried one of them there, and it's just coming up, so, I don't know. Now, so I'm going to the uh, dwarf hair grass. Like, right now, I actually just trimmed it. I've been having trouble because actually, the dwarf hair grass, when I first planted it, it all died off and then it was, then it regrowed. So, I'm having a lot of trouble. I just, well, not really true trouble. I'm just not liking the decomposing plant matter that's usually in the middle of the dwarf hair grass, so I guess it hinders, it hinders it from growing, but it's it, like it still grows. For some reason, the plants at the front and the back are doing the best and not the plants in the middle. So yeah, just why is that? And I also found out, like as you can see, these plants look like they've been utterly, utterly murdered by a fish. I found out that lamp eye tetras love snacks on that plant. I don't know what it is about the lamp eyes. They're the only fish in there which is actually trying to destroy those plants. So, sadly I had to move them in here, but this is kind of like my biotope in progress. Like, that's why I have the black water, but it's pretty cool. And I'm growing some plants in here. I have these I want to say that they're Luquigia, but I'm not sure, so I'm just not. And then I just planted some dwarf hair grass, and I know this light sucks, which I have on. I need to put a bit of light, but why I can grow dwarf hair grass in here is because the sun shines in about twice a day, even though obviously it's not sunny today. But yeah, um, let's see. So yeah, these. Uh, I'm just going to call them my Madagascan plant. Um, I'll put all the scientific names of all the plants in the description. And, yeah, ask me any questions you want if you're new. Because this is my first true aquascape I've ever made. So, I know one time a guy commented about um, the rocks being different kinds of rocks. Yeah, I know. It's... I actually kind of added those rocks there just to kind of be a space filler because in the first startings of the aquascape, it was this was just bare over here. So pretty much, would it look better bare or was something there? I might actually put more of these rocks like around on this side and to kind of maybe get rid of that. But I, I don't know. I really like the way that looks. I'm probably gonna put maybe some sort of moss on them. I know I'm gonna put moss on that longer rock right there because that'll make it look pretty cool. But, yeah, I am growing those over here. I was kind of a question, do you think that would look good? Like, it's, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out why I planted it over there. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just something random, which I did when the plants were first growing in. Just can make it something over there, so I might just pull that and plant it over here so yeah um i'm not having really any trouble with the algae growing on the sand anymore because i found an awesome creature to use it's just simply cat. because <laughs> the cool thing about them is they 
they forage for food in the sand, so they sift through it with their gills and they suck up all the sand. So that means that the sand is constantly circulating, so it doesn't have the time to grow algae. But that right back there is not algae, that's just waste. I'm trying to figure out the best way of having siphoning that out without siphoning all the um, sand out. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, my CO2 cylinder actually ran out, like, I don't know, maybe, well, I had to wait for my CO2 cylinders to come in, but, so this tank had no CO2 for about, I don't know, maybe four days, five days, so that's just kind of another question. If you have a tank that's been running on CO2 ever since it started, if you, if like the CO2 dropped for about, well, just a few days, will it change anything? Because as far as I can tell, the plants are fine. But like I said, I just like crazily um, cut this grass so it doesn't look as good. But yeah, I'm really excited. These dwarf fire grass are just shooting out runners everywhere. So yeah, it's really cool. I'm having a lot of fun. Just want to show you guys, I guess, this tank. But yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. It's my little baby cichlid raising tank. I have some really cool cichlids, which I want to show you guys. It's the Morii cichlids. I love these guys. I've always wanted some, and I finally got some. So yeah, this is, they're in here just to um, grow up. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put them inside my big 50 gallon with all the zebras. I'm, not sure because more they just don't I don't know. I just kinda don't want them to get hurt because they're really cool fish. I like them a lot. I can't wait till they're adults. Like my big one has its dorsal fin is a nice bright red. Let's see if I'll show it. Yep, let's see look at that. That's just so cool. And for some reason I forgot the scientific names. Well, just normal names for these fish. Like, they look so similar. So, I think, I know one is a yellow banded Moriai. The other one, I completely forgot. So, I'm going to do, press some research and probably put that in the description. If you guys want to know it. But, yeah, uh, this tank's really cool. It's black water. I'm not too happy about black water. I actually want clear water, but... This is actually the first dirty tank I've ever done. So, yeah, if Dustin ever watches this, how do you get this red out of your water? Because, like, this is a pretty bright light. And it's, I don't know, maybe this tank is like a foot of visual. I don't even know what I'm saying. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so now the last tank, which I just set up yesterday, which I'm liking a lot because of the cool water effect. Now, I had no idea this was going to happen. I was actually wanting to put like a really nice, um, one of those Aquion, um, like fishers on it. But since it does this cool water effect, I'm probably not. <laughs> it just looks so cool. I like it a lot. So yeah, these are like really bright lights, and yeah, I kind of want to know, will these possibly grow tons of algae? Because I know this Sunday I'm going to be going to the store, and I need to know if I need to get a lot of maybe Odos, or I might get Chinese algae, I don't know which, but I know I'll get something. But uh, yeah, that's it, and see y'all later.